Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to access and use one of the three Erasmus Plus tools available on the School Education Gateway, the Course Catalog. When on the School Education Gateway homepage, in order to access the Course Catalog, click on the Erasmus Plus Opportunities link at the top navigation bar. On this page you'll find three distinct sections, one for each tool. On the top of the page you'll see the Course Catalog, which we'll be exploring in this video. Then when you scroll further down, you'll see the Mobility Opportunity section and the Strategic Partnerships section. These other two tools are covered in separate tutorial videos. Going back to the Course Catalog section, clicking on the See All link brings you to the Course Catalog landing page. At the top of this page, you'll see the Upcoming Courses section, which features three courses that will take place in the near future. There are two types of courses in the Course Catalog. Online courses, currently only created by the School Education Gateway, and on-site courses, offered by external course providers in various countries. Notice the Map View button here in this section. It will display a map that filters courses by geographical location upon clicking on any country. Hovering Countries will show you how many courses are available in a particular country. Below the upcoming courses, you'll see the search function. You can search for courses here by typing in the free text field when you have a particular keyword that you're looking for. Be sure to select if you're looking for an online or an on-site course here with the type option. You can also filter your results further using the topic filter. The advanced search provides you with more options. Opening the advanced search allows you to filter also on country, language, key competence, target audience and start and end date. You can always add or change these filters later. Once you have entered your criteria, click on the search button and your results will be displayed. At the results page you can see the courses that fulfill your criteria. You can change how your results are ordered and how many results are displayed per page. Each result has information regarding the number of sessions in the current month, the dates of the next upcoming session, the location of the course and the name of the course provider. If you would like to further narrow down your search results, you can always select additional filters right below the search box and click Apply Filters. Once you find a course that you're interested in, click on the course title. This will take you to the landing page of the course for a detailed overview. On a course landing page, you'll see the description and details of a course. On the top left of the description, you can see the rating a course has received. On the top right of the description, you can add a course to your favorites, if you are logged in. You can review your favorited courses at any time by clicking on the favorited courses link just a little above. More course details are available below the course description. Click on Show More to see additional details such as the language, topics and price of a course. If you would like to request any additional information, or if you would like to register for a course, you need to contact the course organizer. To do so, simply click on the Contact Organization button. This opens a message box where you can write and send your question. Please note that this is the only way to contact course organizers via our platform. The School Education Gateway Help Desk team cannot answer any question related to specific courses. You can also use the course webpage or social media contacts of the organizer if they are provided. Below the details, 
you can see a list of upcoming session dates for a particular course. The report a problem link here allows you to submit a concern about the page content. When you do, your message will be handled by the School Education Gateway Help Desk. The course page also has a rate and review section. There you can find the ratings and reviews of course participants. If you attended a course, we invite you to reflect on your experiences as well and post a review. To leave a review, first select a star rating, then indicate the session that you have attended and write your comments in the free text field. Click submit to save your review. On the right hand side column of the course landing page, you'll find the name and logo of the organizer. Clicking on it will take you to the organizer's profile page. An aggregated rating from all the courses of this organizer. Buttons to follow or contact the course provider. External links related to the course, such as social media profiles or a page with more information on the course provider's own website. And finally, other courses organized by the same course provider. Remember that anyone can use the course catalog, but that certain functionalities are available only to registered users. These are adding items to your favorites, save searches, follow an organization to receive updates, use the contact form to contact a course organizer, rate and review a course, and report an issue. Thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck with the rest of this online course.